What is up guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I have a new comic book review for you. I am reviewing Mighty Morphin Power Rangers slash Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number two. Uh, it's been a little minute since this book came out. You know, not too long. Um, but I had some weird stuff going on with my Comixology account to where the comic didn't get charged and I was behind a week in reading the book and getting the book out. So my apologies, you know, for being late on getting this book out again. So sorry for that. But we are here. I'm, I've got it for you. I'm ready to talk about this book. So without further ado, let's get into it. You guys, you know, I review my comics in three different criteria, the good, the bad and the morphine. So starting off with the good, the artwork is on point as usual. So major credit to the creative minds behind this book we actually get to see the rangers and the turtles team up together fighting against the foot clan as they come you know to grips with what happened to tommy the green ranger this comic is only 22 pages in length so it's a short fun read but definitely keeps you entertained while feeling like an epic crossover as it should getting into the bad of this comic Tommy's reasoning for joining the Foot Clan was because an old friend got caught up in, you know, some type of martial arts cult, aka the Foot. So he basically infiltrated the organization to gain intel and get his friend out. That's pretty much, you know, what I got from, you know, this issue. And to me, I was kind of hoping for a different reasoning for Tommy being mixed up in the Foot. Maybe they'll elaborate more on this as we get deeper into, you know, this crossover. But to me, I thought that that was kind of a small weak point you know for him joining the foot that's just that's just my opinion for something that i will pull out as kind of the bad you know within this comic getting into the morphin which is our last criteria of this comic that scene with kimberly hart you know the pink ranger and april o'neill dang come on y'all come on boom studios y'all know both of these characters are fine and y'all rewarded all kinds of nerdy fetishes in my nerdy heart. That's all I got to say. I'm not going to say anything else, but I loved having a scene with both of them. Dang, dang. That was good. That was really good. And now enough about that. Uh, I also really like the scene where Donnie and Billy are in the sewers conversing about, you know, tech and robots and science stuff. And it was just fun seeing the brains of both teams having a moment together. I thought that that was really cool. And it was funny that Donnie knew about the Power Rangers from Ranger Station, which is Bulk and Skull's YouTube channel. So that was cool. We see Bebop and Rocksteady, which is a major throwback for long-term, you know, TMNT fans. Having these two iconic, you know, villains in the book was really cool. Um, the Technodrome is seen briefly as Tommy is sort of sworn into the Foot Clan. And lastly, of course, the major takeaway from this comic is the Shredder Ranger. Now, I have to be honest, I was not super hyped about, you know, this reveal at first because there's been so many different variations of the Green Ranger or Tommy's Rangers, you know, know so to speak um but after seeing this design and even seeing it you know in some cosplayers you know bringing it to life it's definitely grown on me you know i will say that and i'm eager to see how shredder abuses this power now it is time for my lightning rating i give this book a usual four out of five lightning bolts this comic did its job kept me entertained gave us some throwbacks plus added in some remix flavor with certain characters i did enjoy it man i have to say that and i'm wondering how all of this will wrap up another thing i like that they establish in both tmnt and you know in the mnpr you know comics is that both of these teams they exist in the same world and the same timeline except of course you know the turtles obviously they work in the shadows in new york so that's cool that they establish like yes these guys both exist in the same universe same timeline but you know just different places so i thought that that was unique um I hope you all enjoyed this review, and if you wish to purchase this comic, check out Comixology or visit your local comic book shop to add this book to your collection. Also, if you are new to my channel, subscribe now for more Power Ranger videos. Until next time, guys, it's Morphin' Time. Hooah!